South by Southwest may be known for its music festivals and crazy atmosphere, but all the craziest stuff is actually on the trade show floor. A lot like uh, that big orange fella behind me here. <laughs> There are a lot of robots on the trade show floor at South by Southwest, but this one might be my favorite. It's a sushi robot. <laughs> so this is an open meals concept from a, a few companies and research university in Japan. They're putting together the idea of digitizing food and basically being able to send food recipes and have a robot make them just across the world, from Earth to space even. Basically getting a database of digitized food using a gel material to make different textures and, and food compositions and having a robot basically spit that out wherever you want to send it. This guy right here is making some sushi, but as they're showing off, you can do a bunch of other foods. It doesn't just have to be fish and rice. You enjoying South By? Yeah, me too. I found this guy hanging out on the show floor too. He's about ready to jump into the air as if he were on the moon. So this is Lunavity. This is a jetpack basically that augments your jumps and makes it so gravity feels like you're on the moon, you can jump really high. It's basically just a concept for now. They can't even turn it on in the US because of some regulations, but in Japan they've tested this thing out. And the idea behind this thing is to maybe help out in sports, maybe make some new sports possible, or even just for regular transportation, getting around. He's having a good time. How's it hanging, man? I'm just hanging out with my new best friend. Uh, this is Gochan. And Gochan just wrote a rap for me after asking me a series of questions. So this is an AI-powered mascot. The company that brought it here makes AI chatbots, basically. And they've thrown that into Gochan. You can answer questions, and then Gochan writes you a rap. And everyone dances, and it's a really good time. This is definitely a South by Southwest exhibit, for sure. I learned how to play the piano again today at South by Southwest. This is Yamaha's AI project, U, and it's an AI-powered accompaniment. So this piano, as you're playing like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, as the demo does, the piano responds to whatever you're playing and plays along with you and makes your song sound a little better. Uh, it certainly made mine sound better. I haven't touched a piano in quite a few years. This AI system is actually in use in Japan, so they've had some symphonies play along and then just have this piano on stage, playing along with the symphony, responding to all the notes that, that it's hearing, and playing without someone actually sitting at the piano, uh, which is pretty cool. Personally, I need to practice a little more, so I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> so that was South by Southwest, the trade show floor, and uh, stay tuned to Engadget.com for all the news from the show.